Hello, I'm Jeanette Smith, and I'm here to help usher you into a light hypnotic state so that your mind, your body, and your spirit are in a peak state to rest and rejuvenate while you're sleeping. I don't believe in accidents, so if you have stumbled upon this, I believe that it is purposed for you to use as a tool. So before we begin, let's do a few stretches. Stretching before bed actually helps you get your body and mind together. and You feel your body, but you get into your body, out of your mind, because we want our mind to rest. And for those of you who are strongly in the practice of formal yoga, there's some yoga poses that you can do, or you can just do some simple stretches and engage your body so that you slowly and mindfully release any stress and begin to rest your head. You can simply tilt your head forward and back, side to side. You can shrug your shoulders and hold for three or four and release. For those of you who have had a very busy day or you tend to have um, that challenge of resting your mind, I suggest that you get your journal out and write down the things that have a grip on you and won't let go. Go ahead and write your to-do list, the things that are consistently popping up in your mind about what you need to take care of tomorrow or something that's left over from today. It hangs on because your mind doesn't want to release it. It's serving a purpose. It's protecting you by holding on to the information, but you want to let it go. And the fastest way to do that is to just simply write it down so that you can release it. Release yourself from the responsibility of holding it. Release yourself from any stress that might be attached to the task. Go ahead and write it down. And let this be a marker, a signal, and sign to yourself that this is the time now to rest and reset. Leave tomorrow for tomorrow so that it doesn't impact your sleeping. If you haven't dimmed your lights or changed the lighting in your room, it really helps to go ahead because how we light our environment can play a large role in how we disrupt our circadian rhythm. So you want to optimize the lighting in your room for a dimly lit environment, candlelight, or amber lighting. Even on your phone, I recommend that if you're listening by phone or device that you dim the light on your device. And this is something that you can begin doing an hour or two before bed just so that your body starts adjusting to the dimming of the light, which models and reflects the setting of the sun. This will have a calming psychological and physiological effect on you. Of course, outside of the device that you're listening on, you want to make sure you turn off any electronics, Put things on do not disturb until a certain time so that you're not disrupted and awakened by any pings. Center yourself in this present moment, bringing your awareness to your body as it is right now. And if you have not yet, as you climb into bed, remain aware of what is happening in your body. Often we jump into bed and 
we don't give focus to the process of going to sleep so as you lie down feel your body assuming a resting position use your breath to bring mindfulness to your body to help cultivate relaxation as you breathe in fill your lungs with air feel it and when you exhale feel your body soften into your mattress or whatever you have purposed yourself to go to sleep on Continue to bring your focus to your breath and really pay attention to how your lungs expand and contract, expand and contract as you inhale and exhale. Let your breath flow however it wants to right now. Breathe in and breathe out. Invite in the spaciousness and awe and wonder of life as you sit and continue breathing. Now draw attention to your heart. Feel gratitude for this beautiful heart that's beating without you even thinking about it over a hundred thousand times a day and it just serves you and continues to pump life force through your body and even now it's metering and measuring a constant consistent rhythm within your body feel gratitude for that heart Breathe in and breathe out. I am grateful for what I enjoyed today and even the things I didn't understand. I appreciate that I was given this another day. This day is winding down and giving way to night for the changing of this state of being and for that I'm thankful for night will give way to a new day and for that I am thankful I breathe in and with my belief and trust in the clarity and strength of I am, I put in order or shape, correct, revise, adjust, amend, regulate, arrange, rectify, tidy up, and make orderly or neat anything in my subconscious or conscious mind that feels it needs to be fixed. I release it all now. Trusting and knowing that I am that I am, Source, love, God, the uncreated creator is the best keeper of these types of things. And because all things work together for my good and the world is always conspiring to do me good, I release myself from any feelings of guilt, shame, or judgment lessons will be made to me more clearly tomorrow love will recycle any situation and work it for our highest good for everyone involved so I can trust and believe that I can release it all Breathe and I release, knowing that every
everything is in place and on time. I release resistance. I release my need and any thought or desire that will want to stay attached to today. I release this day to source and keep only what I need to be a better me tomorrow. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is the end of the day. There's nothing I need to do right now. There's not one thing I need to tend to right now. This is a time for my body to rest. I appreciate and I'm so grateful for the space that I have in which to sleep and rejuvenate. This is the perfect environment in which to rest. My body really likes lying here in this circumstance, in this place, at this time. I'm happy about what I'm doing right now. And there's nowhere else I need to be. This is the best thing for me to do right now. Give my body rest. The cells of my body are regenerating. My mind is at ease. I am in complete concert with Source. This is a rejuvenation time for me. I lean in fully to being held by Source. This is a reset of my vibrational clock. I cherish and have gratitude for this, a most important part of my day. This is not something I have to do. This is something I get to do. This is something I look forward to. This, the winding down part. This is the readying myself for what is coming next. This is me fully releasing myself into well-being. I am soothed. I am detached. My body is light and numb. I am at peace. I am at ease. I am released into oneness and into a state of utter well-being. I allow it, I receive it, and I maintain it into a sleep state. If my being chooses to dream, my dreams will empower, inspire, encourage, and elevate me. I trust God, Source, Love, the Uncreated Creator to help me hold on to any messages or lessons released to me in my dreams. When I awaken, 
will feel the joy and peace of being in presence with I am. My mind will be refreshed from this time of being off the grid. With each breath I'm unplugging and resting more in stillness. serve me well. So in this moment I'm grateful for the rest, for the sleep. Protected and covered, guarded and loved, wrapped in the safety and loving care of the grip of grace. I release and I sleep.
as you continue into sleep. As you continue into relaxation, rest and rejuvenation. Know that you are loved. Know that you are held. yet.